Travelport shares updates on its NDC programme. At the moment, uh, Travelport is already connecting some airlines and we're continuing to do that. We've got five airlines live in our system. Uh, we're connecting another seven at the moment and then we've got more that are in the pipeline. Uh, so that's the content coming in um, and we're now working on getting that content out um, and our new points of sale which is smart point uh, for the people that use our desktop solution and our trip services for the people that use our API solution. Both of those are being tested in the market at the moment and we are live with uh, Qantas content. Boeing sees opportunities for Indian Airlines to add medium and long haul capacity. We also see um, you know, these medium haul, so uh, Southeast Asia is a key destination for new capacity. And then when I think of the Indian Airlines, the one place where market share is relatively low and potential is very high is in the long haul market. Only 35% of travelers fly in Indian Airlines on long haul markets. And so that number can grow dramatically. IATO pins high hopes from the Ministry of Tourism's incredible India roadshows Malaysia, Singapore and Thailand. This roadshow in December is for Malaysia, Singapore and Thailand. And these markets are, have been there for a long time and big numbers are also expected furthermore because Malaysia is a very large country and we expect more people to come. So is Thailand. And uh, these roadshows shall definitely be of a big help to all the tour operators and increasing tourism to India. JLL recently reported that Bengaluru recorded 11% growth in the third quarter of 2019, over the same period last year, registering the highest RevPAR growth.